guys, so today is an exciting video because I get to talk about something that is one of my favorite things in my makeup collection and that is my customized MAC palette. Whenever I show this in a video or mention it, so many people want to see a whole video on what shadows these are. I'm obsessed with it and I use it almost every day and I will be doing a get ready with me using my most used eyeshadows in this, which are not the ones I hit pan on surprisingly. But on the look that I'm wearing today, um, it's been my go-to look every time I do my makeup. It's like so hard for me to do other looks and not use this. So I was thinking about doing this in the style of just going over every eyeshadow in it and my most used and my favorites in it and what I would recommend. So the way I have this organized is on this column right here I have lighter shades. So I have a matte color and then two shimmery colors. One that's more pink and one that's more yellow. Then I go into transition colors here that are, you know, like almost matte but still have a little bit something going on. Well, this one's matte up here. But these two have a little shimmer in them and I also love this one for the lid. And then I have medium shimmery browns and a taupe color up here. But you can't guess what one that one is. And these are just good for the lid if I want a more dark look. And then this row is my favorite row. It's my darker brown crease colors, outer V colors, and then these are all shimmery colors on the end that I don't really reach for, but if I want like a pop, um, I will use these in the look. So that is how I organize my palette. I like it going in rows and, or in columns instead of rows. So the first shade that we have up here is Blanc Type, and this is a matte squared finish, so it's super, super pigmented, very creamy. But like I said, I love using this for the brow bone to kind of carve out the eyebrow a little bit more, but also it's a great inner corner highlight if you're into the matte look. It's great on the lid as, you know, if you want to do an all matte look. Next up we have Nylon, which is probably my most used color in the palette even though I only recently hit pan on it. It is the most gorgeous white golden color and I use this on my face as a highlight. I use it on the inner corner. I use it as a lid color. It is just gorgeous and you can actually layer it. Today I layered Blanc Type over top of nylon to kind of tone down the shimmer a little bit. It's just such a versatile color and I love it. Next we have All That Glitters which is a pink toned shimmery color. I actually don't reach for this as much um, as I used to. It is very gorgeous and I really should use it more but lately I've been more into the warmer tone. It's not necessarily a cool tone but like it's not warm either. It's just kind of neutral. Next we have Cork which is just a warm medium brown color and you can use it as a transition color or in your eyebrows or whatever you want to use it for. It's just pretty standard kind of eyeshadow. Then we have Era, which is my favorite transition color. It is so gorgeous, blended out with a darker color and like a pop on the crease. It is just really, really nice. It has a slight sheen to it, um, but it's nothing like shimmery or anything like that. It just makes it super, super blendable. Next we have Patina, which is one of my all-time favorite colors. It's such a unique shade and I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's a warm brown, but it has this gold undertone to it or overtone or whatever you want to call it. It has a sheen to it. You do have to build it up. I think that's why I hit pan on it so quickly um, because you have to kind of re-dip your brush a lot, but once you like build up the color, it is gorgeous. In the next row of the shimmery brown colors, we have Satin Taupe, and this is the only MAC eyeshadow I've ever repurchased is Satin Taupe. It's my all-time favorite, although my all-time favorite has changed recently. But it's a very popular shade at MAC, and for good reason. I love it. It's so gorgeous. It's a purpley brown color. Um, it's very taupey, and it's just so beautiful. It's one of those colors that if you put it on the lid, and then you put it on the crease, it kind of changes and transforms. Um, it kind of has more shades within it. I don't know. It's just so cool of color. Next we have Twinks, which is a shimmery kind of warm brown, reddish brown. It's really beautiful on blue eyes and it's just such a gorgeous color. I also don't reach for it that much. Um, I don't really go for a darker shimmer look lately. I've been using like a lighter color on the lid, but it's definitely a really pretty one. Next we have one of the newest additions and that is Sable. It is a very talked about color and I don't know why it took me so long to discover this, but it is so pretty. It's like a warm shimmery brown. Just That's why it's in this column, right? Now onto the darker browns and the outer V kind of crease colors. And the star of the show, my all-time favorite MAC eyeshadow is Brown Script. It's the orangey brown color. 
oh my gosh I use this every single day it is so gorgeous it is just a, such a beautiful warm brown color I, again don't know why it took me so long to discover this next day I have Embark which is also one of my most used eyeshadows it's just a dark ready brown it's so pretty as an outer B color super blendable super creamy next we have Folly which is very similar to Embark but a little bit more warm and more red in in it and it's again just a matte brown color but just a more warm tone it's not as pigmented as in bark so I don't reach for it as much but I bought it with sable hoping to use them together and I have and they're so gorgeous now for the last row we have the shimmery kind of colors that I don't reach for on an everyday basis but are absolutely amazing we have woodwinked which again very popular shade at Mac it's again such a unique color it is a brown in the pan but when you swatch it it comes out like an orangey golden color it's so weird but I really like it especially in the summer it's just so pretty next we have amber lights which is a straight-up gold color and when you swatch it, it is very much an orangey orangey gold but it's so beautiful especially on the lid and it's just very very pretty I really don't reach for it as much as I should and lastly we have antiqued which is very similar to twinks but again more red toned not as pigmented as twinks so I don't reach it reach for it as much but it is very pretty and again great on blue eyes but since it's similar to twinks I usually just reach for twinks even though it is a little bit more red toned um, it's definitely one that I don't use very much so you have a general overview of all the shadows with swatches and everything in the palette so I hope that was helpful for you to build either your own 15 color palette or a quad or something like that just whatever you want to make out of these shadows I really recommend all these shadows Oh. That happens every time patina bark uh, brown script nylon and uh, blanc type I don't know why I spaced on those so quickly even though I just talked about them so my perfect quad would have to be those four colors so I highly recommend that if you want to look like what I'm wearing right now those are the only colors I use today on my eyes so that's like my all-time favorite quad this isn't my whole mac eyeshadow collection i have another quad that um is full and then i have the rocky horror six shades one that has some permanent colors in there um but obviously i can't depop those because they're squares but i do love that especially the blackberry color um but i have another quad that i just don't reach for those as much so i just kind of leave them in there and these are like my all-time go-to's, favorites. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.